So hi everyone. I'm Lucia. Uh, we are we are Lucia and Salma from Team One, and we are going to present you a sustainable city. First of all, I would like you to get to meet our team members uh, from Hong Kong. There is Thomas and James, our India members Anu and Janita, and we have Nico from Netherlands that it's been a member since the beginning, but at the end her high school decided not to participate, and from Spain. Uh, we, Salma and Lucia. So this is the index with the seven different criteria we have based our project on. And let's start with the first point. So it would be by Salma. Salma, are you there? Uh, one moment, giving Selma access. Okay. Perhaps we should always uh, enable both the presenter and the backup presenter as panelists, so they have the option to quickly... There you go. Hi. Can you see me? Yes, we can see you, Salma. You're, you're all good. Okay, thank you. So I'll start with the first criteria, mitigation and energy use. We have established three criteria to present our, our point of view talking about this topic. At first, we have to improve the energy efficiency. Urbanization has led to massive demand for energy to power economic activity, expand infrastructure and deliver municipal services. To improve energy efficiency, we will be promoting innovation while still focus focusing in results. To foster global partnerships, to strive for integrated and cross-sectoral approaches, bringing higher value and multi-benefits to clients, and to respond to client demands and needs. Moreover, we will, be, we will make diagnostics and assessments of city energy use and energy efficiency potential, and to train the capacity of building to enhance understanding of urban energy efficiency and its delivery. Then we will be applying a graded use of renewable energy. Our city we will be provided of energy by mainly two systems solar energy and geothermal energy. Solar energy. We are developing systems, tools, and procedures to save time and money to our clients by gaining efficiency. The potential for solar energy is enormous since it's about 200,000 times the world's total daily electric generation capacity is received by Earth every day in the form of solar energy. So it is one of the best ways of supplying our town. And then we have geothermal energy. It's a carbon-free, renewable, sustainable form of energy that provides a continuous and interrupted supply of heat that can be used to heat homes and office buildings and to generate electricity. Geothermal energy only produces one-sixth of the carbon dioxide produced by natural gas plant and is not an intermittent source of energy like wine or solar. And finally, in this point, we have the community goals. Review existing plans and other policy documents to ensure hazard mitigation goals are consistent with the goals of other community plans, such as the comprehensive plan and other objectives established by the governing body. So now we have our second criteria, sustainable youth mobility. Our city center must not be a crowded place, and to achieve that, um, private vehicles won't be able to enter the area. Instead, we foment the use of public transport, cycling and walking as durable as possible. And for this, we need to encourage inhabitants, and to do so, bus, bike and tram lanes would be all along the city center. 
However, we can't be a sustainable city just fomenting the use of public transport if it is empowered by renewable energy. That's why all public transport in the city would be electric in order also to low CO2 emissions. Therefore, instead of gas stations, there will be electric charging stations along the town. Private vehicles will also tend to be electric and to guarantee that uh, bicycle fermentation is done correctly. There will be bike rentals, um, also bicycle parkings, so that citizens can have a place to park their bikes safely. And now I'll be talking about uh, sustainable land use. Sustainable land use ensure a fair balanced distribution of land, water, biodiversity, and other environmental resources between the various comp competing claims in order to secure human needs now and in the future. The methods we will be applying are the following ones. The construction of wide bicycle lanes throughout the city, replacing coal, natural gas, and fossil fuels with renewable energy. We develop all buildings into green buildings to allow vertical planting and construction of solar panels and root on rooftops in order to prevent urban sprawl. Uh, we root all sewage discharge systems and connect them to sewage treatment plants. Uh, phase out DSL oil cars and replace them with electric cars to guarantee the proximity of green areas and public transport for residential areas and, of course, to conserve valuable buildings and landscapes. To assure a correct sleep to our citizens, free from noise harm, harmful to health, and to ensure that all schools and institutions should be subject by only low traffic noise levels during the day, we will be applying the following methods. Uh, the first one is noise reducing asphalt and renovation of schools and offices. Each village during road maintenance and the speed limits of, road, of roads. Working at full renovation of schools where necessary and possible. Where necessary and possible. In the renovations, there will be including noise concerns and sound insulation windows in rooms facing busy roads. Then we have traffic planning and implementation of intelligent transport systems or ITS, establishing a speed limit zones in different areas of the city and to avoid heavy traffic, we'll, we will be gathering as much heavy traffic as possible on road stretches best suited in this type of traffic. Work on the strategy is looking at the possibilities for speed limits at night to take account of noise concerns. Many of the ITS projects will, will be beneficial regarding no noise and passability will be improved, ensuring a smoother traffic flows. Furthermore, it will be possible to set up variable speed limit signs to the speed can be reduced at night on a stretch with high noise impacts. And finally, we will be promoting the use of less noise vehicles. As it shows, the sustainable human mobility plan charging street stations will be set up in places around the city, as we will promote electric cars and hydrogen powered cars. Moreover, both would be exempt from parking charge. There will be an improvement in cyclist conditions, like cycle routes away from roads and better parking facilities for cycles. Now let's go to our fifth criteria, a sustainable economy. In our city, we can't allow ourselves to have an economy model based on make, use and dispose of the materials, just like the actual one used in the majority of places. Instead, we have a sustainable circular economy system based on reuse, re repair and recycle. New materials will be produced just when it will be totally necessary. That means when the old ones aren't useful anymore after they've been recycled to the limit. 
although these measures on the way uh, materials will be used, we also have to make sure that as a base of our circular economy, those materials are eco-friendly. Changing into green and reusable materials is, the great, uh, is a great solution to help protect the environment. To achieve this, products will be made from biodegradable substances and plastic will be eliminated as a general optional material of production. So then if we change the way products are made, we must also change the way they are sold. Every shop or establishment will compromise to sell their products using just the basic necessary. That means leaving aside all the extra wrapping. For example, in the case of legumes or dried fruit, they will be sold by using dispensers. Our sixth criteria is water. Clean, accessible water for all is an essential part of the world we want to live in, and there is sufficient fresh water in the planet to achieve this. In our city, we guarantee the access to clean and portable water for all the citizens. And we also make sure to keep all natural water bodies clean so that the environment is protected. To do so, we can use machines like Mr. Trash. Mr. Trash is a trash cleaner, cleaner powered by solar energy and the river current and it collects the litter that flows down the river. However, uh, we hope it won't be necessary to use any similar machines in our city, but it may be also useful to keep the river clean from uh, fallen leaves or branches or all the materials blown by the wind. And finally, we have the governance. First, we have to guarantee citizens' well-being. As a governance institution, we must make sure the well-being of our citizens. To achieve that, we must guarantee a civil economy that offers everyone a job and a minimum salary. We also foment culture and entertainment so that citizens are able to express themselves and relax from routine. That includes public powers and garden areas too. Having green spaces will definitely improve the well-being of the whole city. And of course, our city's society is respectful with every individual, no matter its skin color, appearance, place of belonging or beliefs. Moreover, we support feminist and LGBT plus community so that everyone can feel safe and included in this beautiful place. This is the end of our presentation. Um, thank you so much for listening and I will also want to thank all the coordinators that have that have made this project possible. Also our teacher Maria Jesus to letting us this opportunity to participate and Brand for helping us to improve our project and prepare our presentation. Thank you so much for, to everyone.